Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be creating Christmas Platformer Part 3 in Scratch 3.2. So now let's start with the code. So first we'll go to events and we'll take when the flag is clicked that means when the project is started. We'll go to controls and we'll take the forever block. Inside forever block we'll put the if block. In the cell of if block we'll go to operators and we'll take the bigger than sign. In the first cell of bigger than sign we'll take the x position bigger than 194. Go to x and y respective positions. If block if level equals to so we'll go to variable section and we'll take the block level. If level equals to 1, then set level to 2. That means it will change the level by 1. Broadcast a new message named level 2. Now we'll go to looks and we'll take the block height. After height we'll take weight 0 0.1 seconds. After that we'll take the block show. That means it will blink. For 0 0.1 seconds stop this script so it doesn't repeat again and again so these are the levels of my game you can make as many as you want if you want these you can go in the description and you can take by the link when the flag is clicked forever we'll just duplicate this all code and we'll change the values like we'll broadcast a new message level 3 Again, we'll duplicate it for level 4, so we'll change the values again. If level equals to 3 and set level to 4, broadcast a new message named level 4. Now we'll code the platforms. Just duplicate the script. If level equals to 3, switch costume to level 3. If level equals to 4, switch costume to level 4. So these are the costumes of my tree, you can take it from the description again. So now let's start with the code. When I receive level 3, duplicated when I receive level 4. We'll go to looks and we'll take the block switch costume to level 3. Duplicate it, switch costume to level 4. Now we'll make a new gift for level 3. Instead of this go to block, we'll change this go to block to the x and y respective positions. Show when the flag is clicked, we'll again take show. We'll go to controls and we'll take the block forever. Inside forever if block, inside if block level equals to 2. Then height. So this is the code. Now we'll do the same for gift number 4. When the flag is clicked forever, if block, if equals to sign, if level equals to 4, then show height. Now for the fourth gift. When I receive level 4, go to X and Y respective positions. Now you can take this cold water sprite from the description. When the flag is clicked, height, forever. Next costume, wait for 0.1 seconds. That means we will be doing frame by frame animation. 
we'll go to events and we'll take when I receive level 3 go to X and Y respective positions and we'll go to looks and we'll take the show block when I receive level 4 go to X and Y respective positions again and remove these blocks instead take the height block that means it will hide itself when the next level comes now I will do coding for the pointy spikes when I receive level 3 go to X and Y respective positions we'll go to looks and we'll take the block show events when I receive level 4 we'll go to looks and we'll take the block height now we'll do a coding for the signboards you can again take the sprite from the description when the flag is clicked height when I receive level 3 go to X and Y respective positions we'll go to looks and we'll take the block show duplicate the script change it to when I receive level 4 remove these blocks and instead take the block height so we'll do coding for the play we'll make a new block named die we'll first define die set ghost effect to 0 and set brightness effect to 0 so we'll take when the flag is clicked again duplicate this code set ghost and brightness effect to 0 put it beneath repeat 10 we'll go to looks and we'll take the block change ghost effect by 10 duplicate this block change brightness effect by 5 that means the half of it we'll go to motions and we'll take go to x and y respective positions wait for 0 0.1 seconds set ghost effect to 0 set brightness effect to 0 when the flag is clicked now we'll be using the die block forever if we'll go to sensing and we'll take the block touching point spikes then die if touching cold water then die now we'll duplicate the gift for a preview gift so we'll d delete all the code make it small and put it to the left corner of the screen so to access the preview now you can do the coding same for all the levels as much as you want. Now we can test out our projects. So if you like the project don't forget to like, share and subscribe. For more such videos don't forget to put the notification bell on. Bye, meet you next time.